What's going on, y'all? And welcome to another edition of Florida Outdoor Sportsman. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to squirrel hunt. Uh, squirrel hunting is a is a fun way to get started if you're uh, if you're not very experienced with hunting, or it's a fun pastime for the uh, most seasoned hunter. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the firearms to use. Uh, how to find them, the different ways to hunt them, and uh, just talk about really uh, all I can think about to tell you. But um, let's get started with the firearms. This is a, a 22 long rifle. This is a, uh, a semi-automatic, and this is a, depending on the situation, this is a great firearm to use for squirrel hunting. Um, I like to use it when I'm still hunting and it's just how it sounds. You just go find you a stump or a tree and just sit up beside it and uh, sit still and wait for the squirrels to come to you. And, um, and it's a great gun for that situation because, you know, sometimes, you know, you may see one up in a tree that may be you know 50 60 yards away maybe more and uh you need a gun that can reach out and, and touch them and uh this is a great gun for that it's uh it's lightweight it's accurate and it's uh, and it's relatively quiet so if you're still hunting you're not going to want to make a lot of noise to scare the other squirrels off so um, a 22 would be is a is is my choice for if if that's the style of hunting I'm gonna be doing that day. Um, the next gun I have here is is a shotgun. This one is a 12 gauge, um, and you can use uh, 12 gauge, 20 gauge, or 410. It just depends on your preference or what you have. Uh, for this this uh, particular gun, I like to use uh, number six game loads, and uh, that's to me that's perfect for squirrels. But um, I like to use a shotgun if I'm going to be moving around and trying to find them. If I'm going to actually be hunting them down, um, a shotgun is good to use in that situation because a lot of times the squirrel is going to see you before you see it, and you may have to take a shot of it running up a tree or running across the limb and uh, and uh, the spread of the pellets that you get from a shotgun is a great way to, to hit them if they're on the move um, and uh, but for me if I'm gonna be moving around and hunting I want to use a, uh, a shotgun um, especially you know if you're hunting with a uh, with a dog it's treeing them this is uh, to me this is the way to go is uh, shooting them with a shotgun um, now as far as where to find squirrels at uh, you can find squirrels I mean if you're in the woods they're pretty much everywhere but you want to look for feeding areas and feeding areas for squirrels can be uh, anything from a pine patch they like to eat the seeds out of pine cones and you'll find you know pine cones that's been chewed up by squirrels all over the place and pine patches and uh, so a pine patches can be a really good place to hunt um, oak flats are uh, really good places to hunt they like to eat the acorns and um, and there's actually a, a patch of cedar trees right out here that I can hunt. I've got a lot of squirrels out of so if um if if any of those types of trees are around where you're at which they're most everywhere has those three types of trees th those are really good places to hunt now if you're going to be still hunting with a um with a 22 um if you only have one real good feeding area you may be able to go sit beside a tree and you may be able to limit out on squirrels in one sitting but you need to take into account of how many good feeding areas you have 
where you're hunting at and how close together they are. If they're pretty close together, you may sit in one spot and you may only see or get a shot at a few squirrels and uh, you may have to get up and move on to the next place and um, but if you only have one good feeding area close by then you know you sh should be able to sit in that one area and get as many as you want um, if um, if I'm hunting in an area that's got multiple feeding areas close to each other uh, most of the time I'm gonna pick up a shotgun and I'm gonna walk around to each feeding area and I'm gonna try to pick them off that way um, or if I'm hunting with a dog you know, I'm gonna take a shotgun but um, um, early in the morning is uh, is really your best bet on squirrels um, right as the sun's coming up i mean you want to get in the woods right before daylight find you a good place to sit down and watch the treetops and you'll start seeing the squirrels running around in the trees once the sun gets up the squirrels are most of the time going to be on the ground and it's going to be a lot harder to find them and that's when hunting with a shotgun and walking around comes in handy so early in the morning when they're running around the treetops they haven't quite hit the ground yet still hunting with a 22 is a great time to do it um, well that's about all i have for this video um, if you've never been squirrel hunting before i hope that uh you learned something and i hope that you can take something that i told you and uh and uh go out there and uh bag your first squirrel and uh, I'm planning on doing uh, some uh, cooking videos on some squirrel and some other wild game, uh, probably some how to clean videos. Uh, so I've got, got a lot of uh, ideas for the future coming up. Um, if you like the video, if you like my channel, give me a subscribe and a, and a like, and uh, I really appreciate those. But. Until next time, this has been another episode of Florida Outdoor Sports. I'll catch you on the next one.